Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to change your transmission fluid on your lawn tractor. Top Cadet or any other brands, it doesn't matter. This is LTX 1045. They're all the same. They all pretty much any time you have hydrostatic transmission, basically automatic transmission. This is the setup. You have pedal, you have a reverse, then you have a brake pedal. So what you wanna do? I couldn't find much information online. There is like it's like impossible to find anything. There is people that drop completely their uh, the transmission disconnect. It's a lot of work. So there is a, there is an easier way actually to do, of doing it. You flip the seat, you remove the battery, take it self straight forward, self-explanatory. Then you have this little tray. It's actually removable. Oh look at that. It's actually design so you can service your transmission remove the shred there is no bolts clips nothing oh isn't that nice look at the inside there there's a lot of dirt which i'm gonna vacuum i'm gonna inspect all the cables wires make sure nothing is rubbing if it is rubbing i'm gonna put electrical tape over it because I don't want to be riding a tractor and then something just happens because it's eight years old. There are things, you know, who are not done properly. So there is a port, fill port. You see that right there? That right there where I'm shining the light. I don't think it's like Allen key. That's your fill port. There is no drain plug. And there is a little container to add to keep the level. You add and if there is something you can keep the fluid at its maximum level. So I'm going to show you how to remove the fluid, how to extract the fluid from this uh, transmission or any other transmission. As long as you have an a, a opening to add the fluid, if you can add, you can remove the fluid without a drain plug. It's very simple and I will show you how. So I just removed the plug from the transmission from the top. So this is what the transmission plug looks like. There is an O-ring, size 6. Actually, I'm going to use a screwdriver, as you guys can see. A small screwdriver, I'm going to put it in, let it sit in, and I'm going to measure it. And this will be my, as a reference point. So I'm going to sink it there. I'm going to pull it out. And right there. So basically the whole tip is covered in well. So that's how I'm going to know how much I need to add based on this screwdriver. And I will put the dimension, I will show you later the size of the screwdriver so I can use for your reference if you want it. So I'm going to extract and go from there see how much comes out. So this is my setup. I am using the top side of the vacuum. And where there is the hole. And then vacuum everything out. It's very thick, dirty fluid, so it's actually a good idea to warm it up. I'm using this halogen lamp to warm up the transmission kind of a little bit, because it's just too thick. So, this is, you don't have to remove anything. Remove the battery tray and that easy, and the plug, and extract everything. It's that simple. So this is what came out so far. I still have a bunch of the fluid left in my top sider. But it's already 32 ounces, which is 32 ounces equals to one quart. Fluid is very dirty, very thick, so so as you can see, I'm not sure how much you guys can see on the camera, but it's definitely very dirty fluid. Let me show you the container with a better light. Look how dirty the fluid is. It's beyond. You don't want to use any fluids beyond five years with the high quality fluid. Factory fluids, they're low quality products for most of the part because they want you to keep buying equipment, keep buying lawnmowers, tractors, whatever. They don't want you to keep those, keep their equipment for a long time. So keep in mind, no uh, manufacturer of automotive or tractor fluids will give you a shelf life more than five years. Most of them three to four years. Five is the max I've seen. Only a few companies that will give you shelf life. I mean, sit on a shelf in a perfect environment, closed bottle. When you expose fluid to heat and moisture, now your fluid life becomes three, 
two years, four years the max, depending. I don't know if you can get it in four years without having, having, without having a high wear on your equipment. So there you go, guys. Replace your fluids often. So I got 28 ounces more. So now we're talking about two quarts of oil. So what I'm gonna do, lift up the front end of the tractor so make sure all the fluid now drains all the way to the back where the filler plug and see if I can get more. Maybe I can get half a quart, maybe another quart, who knows, we'll see. So here's another quart. So two quarts, easy, even maybe a little bit more, like two quarts and four ounces or so. And I'm not sure how much still there. I vacuumed everything as much as I can. So two quarts in my LTX 1045 hydrostatic top cadet transmission. So what I'm gonna do, the next step, so this is the next step. I'm gonna add quart and a half. I wanna have an extra half a quart in spare into the transmission using this 100% synthetic. Flush it out, all the garbage that's inside there, all the old fluid, everything that is there. I wanna rinse it with a new fluid and vacuum everything out. And then I'll fill it up with two quarts fresh fluid again. So quart and a half, I'm gonna lift the tractor up in the rear so I can spin the tires, get all the gears, kind of wash it off, wash, and uh, go from there. Look how clean this oil, how pure synthetic oils. Look how pure and clean this thing, this stuff is. Compared to what I drained. Take a look how clean the oil is. And I'm using this funnel setup. You can use the funnel or you can use the pump attached to the bottle and pump it. So there is many different ways you can do it. Because I have a pump and I have a funnel. It's just easier for me to use this funnel because it's very thin. Hose or thin at the bottom. Take like a quarter inch diameter or so. And it's very convenient actually. So now I'm gonna put the plug back, lift the rear end and spin the tires. Just spin one tire, the other will spin opposite. So I can slash it and, and then vacuum everything out to drain, to kind of clean to clean it, uh, in, to clean the inside, you know, the gears and everything what's inside there. With, so it's all fresh fluid. And then I will add, then I will extract and add the new fluid. So this is what I'm doing. I'm spinning one tire, the other spins opposite. It's lifted off the ground, so it just, so it basically self cleans it, you know, and if you have enough oil, add two quarts, let everything kind of clean. And I'm going to get everything out and we'll compare, see how much it's dirtier. Remember how clean the oil was that came out? Not came out, how dirty it was. And then I added a quart and a half. So this is the first quart. Now look how dirty the oil still is. After just a small flush, you know, spinning the tires. Best way to do it, just change the fluid every three years. And you'll never know, you will never experience actually the problems with your transmission. You'll never know what a broken transmission is if you're going to change your fluid every three to four years. And of course, depends on hours. If you put a lot of hours commercial, you might want to do it even sooner. So I'm going to put it into container and extract more and see how much more I can get. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but size six, I'm just ready to put the plug back is not really the ideal size. There might be, you see how it's, I'm not sure if you can see on camera or not, but it's not perfect. Maybe six and a half, maybe there is a inch. Not sure what this would be. One eight, five sixteenths. But six millimeter works, but it's not perfect. A tip. The six millimeter is actually not the right size. The right size is any river, any drill drive, driving bits, the reverse portion, the portion that gets sticks inside of uh, the driver bit. So this is the socket for the driver. Well, the opposite side is perfect. So this is what actually really the, the size of it. 
or any 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 drive drill or driver bit that goes inside the driver the opposite direction or opposite side this is the perfect size for that bolt so using my screwdriver as my measuring tool I got zero so it looks like my measuring container that I was using is off so it has more than a quart in it and I actually starting to remember that when I was using for some other purpose it did the marks on it definitely off so it wasn't a quart so I'm going to add more and by a little bit and use the screwdriver as my tool to see till I get the proper amount so this is my measuring tool as you can see Pittsburgh Harbor Freight two but is it number two or something by inch and a half I'll give you the, the dimension and so you can so you guys can see what I'm reference to so basically it's half an inch plus one sixteenth that's what eight nine sixteenths length basically yes nine sixteenths 816 will be half, 916, and the actual level of the fluid is about quarter of an inch. So, quarter of an inch. Tools and everything used in the video will be in the description where you can actually purchase them. The pump, uh, the vacuum, the fluid, everything I used in this video will be. Uh, will be in description so they're putting the plug back and then I'm gonna vacuum everything cleaning you see the oil that I spilled a little bit drops when you remove the funnel so uh, so this is it you know this is how simple the longest what it takes is to drain is to extract the food because it's very thick so if you can warm it up you know, drive around till it gets warm enough and then try and extract it will be better off but still you can extract even it's cold you know it's about 74 72 degrees outside and it's you know, inside the garage about the same temperature so uh, I want to thank you for watching click the bell subscribe and if you have questions ask me